Creating Something Good for Everyone. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 231. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 231, August 27, 2017 edition. And today's topic is creating something good for everyone. Let's talk about that. Our idea of how to create something good for everybody is to create with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet. And this is really what One Community is all about. It's about creating with a consciousness, doing the absolute best that we can for everyone. And our foundation of that is open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for what we call highest good living. And highest good living covers the foundations of a sustainable civilization, which takes the physical foundations that everybody's aware of, food, energy, and housing, and combines them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship, putting it together to create everything that you see happening in the background of the video right now. What we want to design and what we are creating is sustainable communities, villages, cities, and teacher demonstration hubs of the future. The foundation is to create a global cooperation and collaboration of groups working together to create a planet that works for everybody. And it, it's possible within our lifetime if we can achieve a self-replicating model. And so our path to achieving a self-replicating model, specifically a model of teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs purposed to teach others how to create teacher demonstrations, cities, communities, villages, and hubs as well, is by making them easy enough affordable enough and demonstrating living this way is attractive enough so the idea will spread its own. This is what we're all about. This is our idea of creating something good for everyone. And so everything that we're doing is designed not only so it can create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, but also so it can be implemented as individual components. The idea being that we build with the consciousness for the highest good of all. We create with consciousness for the highest good of all. We invite everybody to participate through the internet and coming to actually experience what it is that we're doing at one community once it's established. Hosting initially hundreds of people, then thousands of people, eventually tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people over time so that people can experience what it is that we're creating. Everything that you see here in the background of this video, so you come and see it, experience it, and if people would like to build themselves an individual home using our blueprints, or a complete teacher demonstration hub, or just plant a garden, or just do some of the individual components that save water, or recycle heat, or all the different diversity of things, the education model, the economic model, fulfilled living practices, all those things open source and free shared, so that people can implement them in the way that works best for them. Open source and free shared to support different values and ideas, so that human ingenuity can do the rest. And we believe if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then everything that you see here happening in the background of this video will be just the beginning of creating something good for everybody because it is meant to be a launch point, a starting point for other projects, a starting point for evolutions and innovations and creative ways to make it all better, to make it even more beautiful, to make it even more sustainable. And we believe that by building in this foundation for the highest good of all, creating with this consciousness, that we're creating something good for everybody, everyone, even if people decide to use what it is that we're creating in completely different ways, even if people don't care about sustainability, if it's built on sustainable infrastructure. And our model is designed so that the more we share it and the more sustainable it is, the faster it will spread. The more fun people living in this environment are having, the more enriching the environment is, the more enjoyable the environment is, the faster it will spread. Because that attractive aspect, and then through open sourcing and free sharing it all, we make it easy enough and affordable enough to replicate it. And we believe that if we can make it attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own because people will want to replicate this for themselves because they'll want to create this kind of way of living for themselves because it's, it will be arguably better than the way that they're living right now. And that will create a planet that's better than the one that, we're create, that we have right now as well. Creating a truly sustainable civilization on planet Earth. And for the first time in the history of humanity, we have the ability to bring together a global cooperative 
of people working towards this goal. And it doesn't take everybody to participate to create a truly sustainable world for everyone, to create something good for everyone. It only takes a very small percentage of people. And so our all-volunteer team and our nonprofit, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. This is exactly what we're creating, and this is how we're doing it. So with all that said, let's take a look at one week of our team's progress, accomplishments, and activities for last week in creating something good for everybody. Here's our week of updates. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued updating the images and formatting for the Earthbag Village communal eco-shower page, separating out the different designs and adding several new sections. You can see some of this work here. Related to this, we also updated the complete thermostatic mixing valve page. You can see some of the updated page here. The core team additionally continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We designed a cable spool table with seats and finished designing the bench with roof and bookshelves. The team also began designing a table with a bench made from tires. The top right picture inspired the idea. In addition to this, the core team continued development of the two Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders shown here updating trees, adding people, and other aesthetic elements. Heymanth Kodera, structural engineering master student, completed his fourth week with us by conducting additional Earthbag Village construction research. This week's focus was more French drain and waterproofing research, and you can see a summary of the findings so far here. And Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 24th week helping with the plumbing details for the heat recycling communal eco-shower Vermiculture bathroom and net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's work on the plumbing was focused on the water heater details, integration of the rainwater collection system, and other minor changes. This brings us to 90% complete with the plumbing for the whole Earthbake Village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pond 3 renders. Here's update 81 of Dean's work continuing to test and develop the lighting from the skylights and windows for the central dining and presentation hall. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 52nd week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was finishing this final high quality render for the east wing office spaces, which you can see here and is now also added to the website. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 31st week of work, focusing on 3D SketchUp development of the central area between the north and south residential wings, plus zones 12 and 14 by the east offices. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pond 7 renders. This week he made final changes and ran the final master render for the village, which you can see here. Samantha Robinson, 3D designer, completed her fourth week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was mostly work on the staircase, second floor door, and light design. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added the final updated header and social media images to the pipe furniture page and shared it for the first time across social media. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering tutorial. What you see here is his fourth week of writing content. This week's content focus was exposure and topographic considerations. Dipti Dondrecker, electrical engineer, continued with her 47th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was adding the loft overhang accent lights and updating the table lamps and bulbs to better match those we'll be actually using. Erevin Vasudevan, mechanical engineer, and Vomzi Plurgirtha, mechanical engineer, 
also continued work on their thermal lag and climate battery research and reports for the City Center Heating and Cooling Open Source Hub. What you see here are pictures from our weekly collaborative call and some of their work on the fan and heat transfer calculations. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued editing the food pages. We created these images for the food procurement and storage plan and food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the diversity lesson plan and the caring and kindness lesson plan. This brings us to 48 of 52 finished, which is approximately 92% completion. The core team also completed the draft of the ORF page and reviewed and re-edited the Reggio Waldorf behind the scenes content and began work on the additional multi-intelligences research and content. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team invested several more hours developing the graphics showing where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. The focus was adding and organizing what will be the first wave of images that will appear. This information will be featured in our overview video and on the team page. You can see here this work in progress. In addition to this, Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, working on the highest good network software, finished coding in ExpressJS for retrieving data from MongoDB based on a specific ID. Priti Kotari, information technology enthusiast, also completed her second week helping with this part of the project by finishing version 1.0 of the leaderboard element. And Neha Verma, software development manager, finished her second week helping with this component by finishing implementation of the time log widget. Snapshots of all this work are shown here. Well, there you have it. This is how we're creating something good for everybody. We're an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization doing the best that we can to create for the highest good of all life on this planet. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, and a lot more details than what was covered in this video, everything that you've seen with pictures, if you'd like complete details and see all the open source tools, tutorials, and resources, visit our blog, visit our written blog, or visit our website and access everything that's there. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel or follow us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible, about 20 different networks, and of course, all the most popular networks, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, or on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to follow our progress, to share our information. And on that note, if you like the absolute simplest, super easiest thing that you can do to support our organization, like this video, share this video, share any of our content, help us continue to get the word out. The only way that we're going to be successful is enough people know what it is that we're doing. And so as we open source and free share all the details, the specifics, and everything that we're creating, you can help us do that. If you'd like to, click the like button, share our information. We really appreciate it. Thank you also, of course, for the emails that we get. Thank you for the comments that we get. None of those go unnoticed. Thank you for the donations that we get. They help us to continue to function and operate. And, of course, thank you for watching to the end. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.